featuring us on your channel at Spiritual Guidance Academy. Love and light to one and one. Peace and all love and all blessings. Today, I and I decided to do a little bit of a alternation on the uh, our sound baths. And for the sake of knowing what in heaven I and I am doing, or having a little bit of uh, background information, so to speak, on it, what we'll be doing today is a uh, quick uh, chakra tune. Uh, those uh, are not aware of or familiar with the chakras. We have um, say of seven major quote unquote chakras from the uh, root up to the crown. And each of these chakras has a We'll, we'll call it an activation sound, which they're called bija sounds in Sanskrit. And these sounds activate and tune these chakras. Each of these chakras or energy centers 
which are metaphysical, which means they're physical and spiritual, where the physical and spiritual meet, is on the physical level also situated at a spot where there's a ganglion or cluster group of nerves. The uh, first chakra in order would be our root chakra. And that chakra is at the uh, root of the spine, at the uh, genitals, at the space between the uh, anus and the genitals is where our root chakra sits and there's a energy that with meditation and or cultivation practices such as yoga, qigong, etc. This energy can be uh, awakened, activated, and risen through our rises through our chakras to create uh, evolution actualization of our uh, true uh, spiritual nature as beings all righty that first chakra again is the root chakra and that root chakra deals with Knowing that there's knowledge involved in each one of the chakras, knowing that the earth provides for our needs, basically, the material provides for our needs, is one of the lessons of the root chakra, as well as creation, appropriation in that sense, is part of that. The other lesson or understanding, overstanding, understanding of the root chakra is our essential, pure, untouchable nature as a soul, as a emanation, as a expression and extension, exp yes, of the one divine. It comes in many names and many forms. I man, that was Jock. Um, from that root chakra up, we have our navel chakra, which sits about at the navel. Oh, so actually, it's actually maybe a half inch to an inch below the navel, depending on the person. All right, this chakra deals with our sensuality and feeling nature and so forth, which is important, by golly, because we have senses in this body and being able to govern those senses in accordance with our actual self, capital S E. L F nature divine nature I by nature. The uh, second chakra is also known as the uh, quote unquote soul chakra. It's where we get the expression such as a gut feeling. Our next chakra up would be our third chakra, which is the uh, solar plexus, which sits at the uh, base or bottom of the breastbone where the rib right and left sides of our rib cage meet that soft spot just below the sternum that particular chakra governs our sense of power assertiveness even I would say or uh, aggression even it's also one of the uh, strong um, 
sexual energies as well as, like I said, the power, your, your personal power energy there at the uh, solar plexus. That's why martial artists are taught to target that area because it will kind of knock the person out. And also, breath is centered right there, which shows you the connection between power and breath. Because that will quickly win somebody if you hit them there at the diaphragm area. Um, next in line is our fourth chakra, or the heart chakra, which sits to the left, actually, of our actual physical heart. And again, there's a ganglion of nerves around each of these chakras in the physical, biological, um, anatomical sense. Our heart chakra governs our courage in life, our ability to persevere, persevere, heart, having heart, if you will, is where we start to experience the ability to do for others altruism in this sense or altruistic behavior no isms our next chakra of course love but that didn't but that needed to be said there we go has been said as well but a, a real uh, beginning to uh, unconditional love. As we move upward in the chakras, we have our throat, boop, 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 our throat chakra, and our throat chakra governs expression, as in us uh, being a person individual having quote-unquote voice this chakra also governs the will which is you know the sense of willpower which is in reality an eternal thing in the sense of uh, rather than a thing of force physical force it is a internal thing that manifests externally that's why when we look at the throat chakra, pardon, when we look at the throat chakra, again, we're talking about the will. That's why in many uh, different traditions, spiritual traditions, um, there is the uh, bending. This is also in yoga, actually, tucking or bending of that throat chakra to open or symbolize a allowance of divine will to manifest through a being through one. Again, as uh, we talk about the throat chakra and having a voice, the voice and will be an expression of ourselves and our thoughts, our beliefs, is also a way we may manifest our will in creation and manifestation. Now up from that chakra we have our quote unquote Ajna chakra, which actually uh there we go. Which I have a uh, one second here. It's actually on my arm here. Depiction of the Ajna Chakra with two petals and the Aum in the middle and the sounds that go with them. Aum, Aum, Kishan. And this center governs our focus. A sense of uh, concentration.
this is also the point in the body where all our different meridians start to meet the different types of energy that come through. For example, we have a right and a left nostril, which when we're breathing, that switches. So the energy switches, the kind of energy that we're receiving switches from solar to lunar or yang to yin energy that we're receiving. This switches up about every two hours or so the dominance of a particular nostril. And then there's points where both nostrils are also being used and that's when the energy is moving through our central channel or sashubi up to directly up and through the spine in alignment with the spine is this particular channel and up to our crown chakra which is at the top of our heads just outside the body and the crown point of it which is part of it is also called in chinese uh, ba wei or heaven's gate that's at the center of your top of your head it's also interestingly enough one of the eft tapping points all right so what i'm going to be doing today is like i said a quick chakra uh, tuning and meditation with the ones and ones We'll be chanting each of the bija or root sounds of each of these chakras along with on in order to uh, tune that chakra to highest vibration. Previous to this, I've already activated Reiki and the uh, distance treatment symbol. So all ones that wish to receive from this particular dispensation. Oh, that my ancestors are shifting stuff in the back of that. <laughs> um, to receive healing and attunement from this particular offering. To enjoy and I ask your permission to uh, neutralize any traumas, open and activate and balance any and all your chakras. Those which you have, which out there have given that permission to enjoy this sample. Oh. Um. 
Ram
Take time, take deep breath. Allow yourself to resonate, be at one with that energy. Blessings and love on behalf of spiritual alignment, health and wellness. Please do like, share, subscribe, and all intellectual property rights, of course, belong to uh, Spiritual Alignment, Health and Wellness, LLC. Blessings and love. Thanks again, Nicole, for featuring us on your channel. May all joy and happiness, guidance and protection and bliss of the Most High be with one and one all the while. And may you be in alignment and flow with it. Hey now. And if ones would like to book a session or a reading, do contact me at Abba Ross Anebanat Farai. That's A B B A R A S. There's a period at the end of each of those. That's A B B A period R A S period A N E B A N A three seven nine seven at gmail.com or at our Facebook page Spiritual Alignment Health and Wellness LLC on Facebook or if you would like to book a uh, reading or counsel or coaching you can again contact us here or you may contact my partner Shirley, Empress Shirley, J. Stevens, at Counselor1753 at gmail.com. That's Counselor1753 at gmail.com. Peace and blessings. <laughs>